Deliveries. The delivery system was introduced in the early 1800s in the gold rush, where companies would transport gold across the United States. It started with Stagecoach and then evolved into the Pony Express. People needed quicker deliveries and the road system had quickly transformed providing today's current courier service. FedEx and DHL are two of the thousands of companies which offer next day delivery. The next stage is delivery drones, an unmanned aerial vehicle used to transport food, goods and healthcare equipment. Drones are capable of delivering packages in 30 minutes or less. If next day delivery isn't fast enough for you, Amazon.com has a plan that will get you your package in 30 minutes or less using a flying drone. I'm trying to find out some of the ethical issues with this new technology. As I've mentioned, these drones have been used in the healthcare industry in order to access remote locations and provide quick substances. Andreas Raptopoulos has a great TED talk on the subject. Imagine this scenario. Imagine you are in a maternity ward in Mali and have a newborn in need of urgent medication. What would you do today? Well, you would place a request via mobile phone and someone would get the request immediately. That's the part that works. The medication may take days to arrive though because of bad roads. That's the part that's broken. We believe we can deliver it within hours with an electric autonomous flying vehicle. The RQ-7 Shadow has been used since 2002 by the US Army in order to provide defibrillators and medical packs to the troops on the front line. More trivial methods of the use include the Taco Copter, where it makes the delivery of tacos more convenient and quicker for customers in the San Francisco area. And the United Arab Emirates uses drones to deliver important documents including passports and ID cards. Unfortunately, the emerging technology has been used in the smuggling industry. Early this year, a drone was found in Mexico carrying six and a half pounds of crystal meth. And only three weeks ago, a 28 pounds of marijuana was found being transported from Mexico to America. As any technology, the system has security flaws. The Patel drone defender has been built to send radio waves to interrupt a drone signal and then control it. This occurred where the Iranians found a US drone inland and then hacked it and brought it to ground. They had spoofed the location so the Americans believed it was in the Afghanistan base. Another problem with the drone is when it's used for commercial use as companies are not able to simply leave the packages with their customers. Systems currently in place provide no notification if the correct person has collected the package and could therefore cost businesses millions. Current laws in most nations restrict the use of drones and unfortunately these laws need to be on a level playing field around the world for the technology to expand. Until then, the delivery drone industry is just going to have to wait.